Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike from Mike and Stan Tan. I'm going to be doing my first mod review, or mod showcase, whatever you want to call it. And this is a really cool mod. It's one of the first mods I've ever gotten. Um, it's called the Computercraft mod, and it gives you computers in Minecraft. Let me show you. So here's my house. I'm going to place down a computer right here. That is the computer. And as you can see, it's an older style computer, you, it's, uh, you type, there's no mouse control, and you can get a list of programs by typing in programs, like that, and uh, you'll see it'll give you all these programs. A lot of these have to do with redstone. Um, you can create your own programs too if you know the Lua code, it's like DOS or JavaScript, <laughs> only a little different. I personally don't know how to do it. This computer also has two games. There's Adventure, which is like a text-based version of Minecraft, and then Worm. And if, I'm sure you all know what Worm is. Um, used to be on a lot of those older cell phones. <laughs> but uh, that's our computer. And we got some other stuff to show. This is a printer. What you can do is you can make documents or programs. And if you have, well, I'll show you that later. But you put your uh, ink sack in here. You load your paper up in this, and you can basically print stuff out of your printer. Now, I'm not exactly sure on how you do that, because I'm a bit new to this mod still. But there's a lot of tutorial videos. This is really just a showcase video. Uh, I'm also going to show how to install it in the end of this video. And there should be a link on the screen to skip the uh, to skip to the tutorial. So let's show some more stuff. Here is the disk drive. You're actually going to want to place that next to your computer. And with the disk drive, it takes floppy disks. So you say you get a floppy disk, you right click and put it in here. And you can actually save stuff to this floppy disk. So say you create your program uh, and you want to save it. Maybe you want to put it on some other computers. You save it to this floppy disk there's a command for it I can't remember it off the top of my head and you can pop it in other computers and put it in there and uh, let's show the advanced computer this is newer um, what you do is you place it it's made with gold instead of stone but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gold and it has a couple things to it it's it's got color and also there's a new program paint so let's paint new and you can actually use your mouse on this so you can draw pictures and I'm gonna draw colors yeah it's called modern art and so you can save this press control save and you can actually print this and like say hang it on your wall or something I think if you put it in like a frame or something I think you can Something like that. Just pop a printer down next to it and do that. Um, then there's one more thing I gotta show you. These are monitors. I'll go do this outside because it takes up a lot of room. So, let's place down a computer. You can actually show people or... Well, you can just get a bigger screen that shows what you're doing on your computer. So... I'm going to make the biggest monitor size possible and just place them together like this and they'll combine if the sides are even. So that'll work. I'm going to show you a program called Time. It shows you your time in the actual Minecraft game because uh, I think the days are like 24 minutes or something like that. So you just type and see it is 5.59 p.m. It goes by seconds so now if I type it again it's 6.06 .06 p.m. It's kind of handy. Um, and Let's see, time, I think what you do to get on the monitor is say, this monitor is on the right, so you say monitor right time, there you go, time is 628, and it shows you on that big screen. There's also a special program, uh, what you do is you type secret slash a long time a go, I believe is what you do. No, oh, well, hang on. You gotta do it on the monitor. So, it's on the monitor. 
So monitor right secret slash a long time ago. There you go. And it gives you a movie. A big text space or a movie made with text. It gives you Star Wars, A New Hope. I haven't watched the whole thing yet. I think it goes through the whole movie. And you need a big monitor to actually see everything. So that's why I built this monitor so big. And uh, in the next portion of the video, I will show you how to install this. Um, this installation tutorial, well, for all you who know how mods work, this is a Minecraft Forge mod. You just drag it in your mods folder. Simple as that. And it, this also comes with a tech it, uh, combination pack, whatever. But I'm going to aim my tutorial basically at beginners or new people that don't know really about modding. So let's check it out. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm back. And uh, now we're going to be going over the installation of this mod. So, I'm going to start with showing you how to install Minecraft Forge. If you haven't already, then there should be an annotation or something. If I did it right, it'll let you skip ahead to the actual mod, download, and everything. And all the links for this stuff will be in the description. So, let's get started. For Minecraft Forge, well, let's start with what you need before you do that. If you don't already have it, you're going to want to get it. It's uh, You need a program, either WinRAR or 7-Zip. Uh, I have WinRAR. Uh, it's a great program. I like it. 7-Zip's uh, basically the same thing, but I personally like WinRAR. I'll give a link to the free WinRAR download in the description. You're going to need that to open these uh, types of folders. So for the Minecraft folders, there will be a link in the description, but I'm going to go ahead to the page right here. <laughs> So, if you have, I would just go to releases up here. And, uh, basically, you just search for your Minecraft version here. Like, I have 1.46. Um, I haven't upgraded to 1.4.7 yet because I have a bunch of mods installed. But, uh, you can choose which version is yours and then you just download it. So, let's say I want to download 1.4.6. Go to here. Let it load, and there should be a link on here somewhere. Oh, here they are. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna get the universal one, and I'm just showing you this for PC. I don't know how it is for a Mac, but uh, you're gonna wanna get universal. I would recommend AdFly. It's easier. Um, so that's that. And uh, let's see. I have to get out of here now. Let me just do this real quick. Um, come on, go back up. Okay, so now for the actual installation of Minecraft Forge. When you get it on your desktop, it's going to have a little folder that looks kind of like this. Should be. Um, let me see if I can get mine. Minecraft Forge. So you'll get a little thing like this. It says Minecraft Forge Universal. Uh, what is going on? Sorry about that, guys. Okay, Minecraft Forge Universal, right here. And now, you're going to have to put this in your Minecraft folder. To get to that, you go to your Start menu. Um, you just type in... I'll also put it in the video so you can see it if you can't see it when I'm typing. You write percent app data, so percent app data, and then put another percent. You should see your roaming folder come up here. So you're going to go to that. You're going to go to the dot .minecraft. Now, you won't have all these folders I have yet until you get Minecraft Forge installed. You're going to look for your bin folder, which will be at the top. Go to that, and you'll see this stuff in here. Uh, you're going to want to go to your Minecraft 1.4.6 or .7, whichever you have. And you're going to right-click on that. And then go down here, it says Open With. You're going to open that with Rin, WinRAR. So, now let's see. Minimize this. So, this is your Minecraft.jar. And uh, you won't have all this stuff in here yet, but let's see. OK, 
Okay, those are all the class files. So you're gonna get your Minecraft folder, and you're gonna open it up like this. And you see this folder that says meta -inf? This will be in your .minecraft over here. You're gonna wanna delete that before you put this in. And you're basically gonna copy all the contents of this. So you basically just right click and uh, click select all and you're gonna just drag them into here. And then if you see that meta inf in there again like this, delete it. And the reason why you're deleting this is if you don't, you'll just get a black screen. And it won't harm your Minecraft if you delete it. And if this screws you up, then you can always force update. And I'll show you how to do that later. So once you get this into here, you're going to want to exit out of both files. And then you're just going to want to run your Minecraft. Just to make sure everything works. And here's our test. See if it worked. Um, go ahead and log in here. And if this does screw your Minecraft up, uh, let's see, this little box should come up, that little box that you saw there, that's supposed to be there. Um, so let's wait for my Minecraft to start up. Come on. Now if this worked properly, you should see a new thing here that says mods. And if it didn't work, then we'll go over that near the end of the video. But if it worked, you'll see a mods thing here. Click on that, it'll tell you all your mods. You shouldn't have any in there yet, except for these three on the top. So now we're going to click done, and if it worked, then you can go on to the next step. So, yeah, make sure you run your Minecraft, and actually run a game in it, just to make sure everything works. Once you've done that, you're going to get your computer craft mod. I'll put a link to it on the forums in the description as well. So here's your computer craft mod page. You're gonna go down here and where's the downloads? So here's your downloads. This is the current version. It works for 1.4.7 and 1.4.6. It's a Mediafire download, so you just click that and save it. And save it to your desktop. <clears throat> okay, let me minimize this real quick. Come on, come on go back okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my mods folder again and you just want to want to put your computer craft mod on your desktop so let me get mine mine's right here that's all my mods let me just move this from my desktop real quick so computer craft mod should be right here um should look like that so you're gonna go to percent app data percent again just like four go back to your roaming folder go to your dot minecraft and instead of going to bin you're gonna go to your new folder that says mods and it should be there if it isn't then I don't think your minecraft forge installed correctly so it is there you just right just double click on it and you drag your mod into it like so and then it should work so run your minecraft and it'll be on there now for troubleshooting if your minecraft forge doesn't install correctly you're gonna have to force update your minecraft now i can't show you how to do that because i'm on an older version but well i don't think i can but let's start up my minecraft real quick okay i can so if it doesn't work and you're getting a black screen or something or forge didn't work um you're gonna go to options and you're going to click this force update. That will reset everything and update you to the latest version. Also, if you have something like MC Patcher or MC Edit, which are different types of mods that don't go into your mods folder, those can screw it up as well. So you're going to want to get your mods folder in Minecraft Forge installed, then put those in. But this goes first. I had that problem when I was installing my first mod. And then I did this and it worked. And that's about everything. I uh, hope you guys can get this to work. And if you're having any trouble, let me know in the comments. And I will respond and help you out. So, thanks for watching. Have fun with the mod.